Hi everyone, Tim here. We're going to look at connecting a Sony camera to the Booth Events app on an iPad. The Booth Events is a photo booth app that has a lot of powerful features, and you can check it out at the website booth.events. Today we're going to look at the camera, uh, the Sony ZV-E10. This is a pretty popular Sony camera. Uh, there are other cameras that work with our app, lots of them. They're all very similar, but they have differences as well. If you get stuck, just send us uh, a support request and we'll show you how to do that at the end of this uh, video and we'll help you get through it. Okay, so to start with, let's turn the camera on. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset this back to factory defaults so that you can see what it's like from the very beginning. So to do that, to reset it to factory defaults and be careful, this really does erase everything on the camera. Uh, I'm going to go down to the last page of the toolbox that you can see. Go down to setting reset, initialize, confirm on the warning twice, and then the camera completely resets itself. Okay, so now we're going to be in the same state as where you were when you bought the camera. So it's just like we just bought the camera and opened it for the first time. So let's go ahead and select English, and we're going to set a date and time. You do actually need to set a date and time. If you don't, things like apps won't be able to connect because they, they need the date and time to be set. So let's go ahead and set the time. Great. And we can skip that advert. And here we are, we're in the camera. Now the most important thing is that by default, the camera does not let the app connect to it. So the first thing we're gonna change is that. So we're gonna hit the menu button here, and we're gonna go over to the middle network tab by pressing the right button a lot of times. And now we're on the network tab. The first thing we're gonna do is turn smartphone connect off. We have to do this because we can't turn PC remote on until smartphone is off. So let's go to Smartphone Connect, and we will turn it off like that. Now we're gonna press Menu to go back, and we're gonna go down to the PC Remote function and choose that, and now we're able to turn it on. So let's go ahead and do that. So that's the most important thing that you have to do on the camera is to let the app connect. Next, we're gonna to go to the right here, and we're gonna change this. See where it says Still Image Save Destination? We definitely want that to be on both the PC, which will be the app, and the camera, because we want to make sure that our photos are backed up on the camera in case something happens with our iPad. Okay, and then on the last one here, we'll just leave that at original. Okay, great, our camera is all set. We can get out of the menu like that. So now we're just gonna to connect to the iPad. So I've got a, a USB-C cable here. Nothing fancy, it's plugged into a USB-C dock, which is then plugged into my iPad. So I'm going to take that cord, and this camera has the plug on the left side here. And we're gonna gently plug it in. It's, it's on the top when you open the side on the left here on this camera. And when I plug it in, you can see here it says PC, and it's changed modes, which is interesting, but I think that's just because the um, paper was pretty close in the back there. Okay, now if you noticed, when we t originally turned on the camera, it was on the video mode, and now it's on the camera mode. Now, that's because for Sony cameras, they need to be on the photography mode, the camera mode, in order for the app to be able to do anything. If the camera is on the video mode, it won't. the app won't be able to take photos, or do anything else for that matter. So. If something's not working with your Sony camera, make sure that it's in a photo mode and then try again. Also, it's worth pointing out, you must have a card in the camera. If there's no card in the camera, nothing will work. Okay, great. So on my iPad, I can have a look and sure enough, I can now see the live view on my iPad. And that's all there is to it, to connecting this Sony. Okay, and that's all there is to connecting the camera. If you get stuck or you have any questions, go to our website. Hit this question mark here at the top there, hit ask, and then email, and then let us know what's up, and we'll get back to you very quickly. All right, that's it for this video. If you want to see other videos, let us know in the comments what you'd like to see. And uh, until next time, we wish you all the best for your next event.